Luis's Library. How do you get your books? How does giving out books help people? In Colombia, a country in South America, children love to read books. But getting books when you live far away from a town with a library can be hard. Luckily, a man named Luis Soriano has come up with a way to bring books to some very small villages in Colombia. Luis is a school teacher in a small town. He enjoys books just as much as his students do. In the house he shares with his wife and children, there are books stacked up to the ceiling. He believes that the children in his country should have books and a library, no matter where they live. For over 20 years, he has shared his books with children all over Colombia. You'll never guess how he delivers them. Luis doesn't throw his books into the back seat of his car or even onto a wagon. He delivers them on two donkeys. First, he straps small bookshelves onto the backs of his donkeys. They are named Alpha and Beto, after the Spanish word for alphabet, Alpha Beto. Then he fills the shelves with books and heads out to one of the 15 villages he visits regularly. Luis and his donkeys carry signs that say Biblio Burro. That means donkey library in Spanish. It's a library on legs. Luis and his donkeys get up very early every Saturday and spend the day making sure children who live deep in the country have books to read. They cross over rivers and follow dangerous trails. They even fight off snakes and hot temperatures to bring children books. Years ago, Luis hurt his leg when he fell from one of the donkeys, but he was back to delivering books as soon as he healed. Luis knows that the children rely on him for getting new books to read. He won't let anything slow him down. The children in the small villages Luis visits know when he and the Biblio Burro are coming. They line up in the street and wait excitedly for the donkeys to ride into town. Under Luis's leadership, the children gather around and listen to him read from new books. In some places, they hold class in the street. Luis gives them lessons in different subjects and works with them to improve their reading skills. He even gives them homework to turn in during his next visit. Luis also has the children draw pictures and tell their own stories. Luis knows that reading and writing help the children make connections to the rest of the world. Of course, Luis also lets the children and their families borrow books. He brings as many different kinds of books as he can, so people can always find something that interests them. He even brings dictionaries and encyclopedias. The Biblio Burro is a library, after all. Luis started Biblio Burro with only 70 books. He had to work very hard to make his dream of a donkey library come true. Now people all over the world admire Luis because of the Biblio Burro. Of course, people admire the donkeys for their hard work too. Luis couldn't have done it without Alpha and Beto. Movies and picture books have been made about Luis and the Biblio Burro. Now he gets books sent to him from as far away as New York City. With all of the donated books, he and his wife have more than enough books for their collection. They have started to build a real library in a real building near their home. Luis has inspired people in other parts of the world to give books to children who have no other way of getting them. So even though Luis has never left Colombia, he has helped children all over the world.